And this is Stormy on Gypsy Life. I'll be making a slideshow, um, probably with a new song and everything on this whole endeavor. So I went out to California, well, Colorado, with being told that someone was going to pay my way through college. Well, it turns out they couldn't even afford the general necessities of me, let alone an actual degree I needed. And what did those cost? So they lied to me. Um... The next thing is that I uh, borrowed their car to try to get to L.A. on a rescue mission for my uncle. Um, he was wandering the streets, I was told. Turns out he really wasn't. Actually, he's fine, I guess. As much as he can be being a victim of elderly abuse and neglect. So I took this guy's car, and I started driving, and it broke down probably less than an hour into Utah. So we weren't even, we had just barely passed Green River. Um, my car broke down. A woman pulled over and gave me a ride. I threw what I could in the back of her car, so I left behind my fundraiser stuff, the tent and all that. I was left in Vegas at the Bellagio, where I spent the entire night trying to get a hold of anyone, and of course no one would answer or could help me. I ended up in front of the blog on the sidewalk crying for about an hour. That's when I got my shit together, and I started going casino to casino, signing up, and getting gambling money. Well, I don't play tabletop, so that was a waste of time. I was told to walk to this break place to where my adversary, Tim, would pick me up. By 7 p.m. that night, he had not shown up, and when I finally got hold of someone, he wasn't even coming. A guy who worked at the pawn shop, you would see it on TV, Gold and Silver Pawn, number one, or the first one in Vegas, the real one. I ended up sitting in front of there not knowing it was on a TV show. People kept taking pictures of it. I was like, WTF? Well, this guy tried to sell me, or I'm sorry, buy me. Um, he offered me a ride to Ramona, California, which is a five-hour drive in exchange for a fuck on the California-Nevada border, Prim. By the time we got to Prim, it went from $200 to $60 in my pocket, because he needed 20 for gas. I was like, bitch, you realize this is fucking stormy you're fucking with right now? He wasn't going to give me a ride the rest of the way either. He'd given me 160 to put in my purse in case he fucked me over and ditched me. He said it for the fifth time, L.A., and I said, no, Ramona. He kept saying Pomona. I was like, ah, oh, I see. We're in a fuck Stormy. Stormy started crying because, honestly, I almost was going to consider it, but I'm really in love with this fool, and he probably doesn't even give a shit about me, but I love him, and I can't help it, and I'm stupid like, like for love. So even if I'm not with someone, I can't even cheat on them. I'm not even with you, and I can't cheat on you. How fucked up is that? Yeah, I can't help it. Love is love. <coughs> so, I grabbed my purse, bawling my eyes out, started walking away. He's like, wait, give me the money back. And I was like, uh, no, you gave me this money. Huh, <laughs> bye. And he grabbed my purse. I screamed. He let me go. I bolted with my fucking 40-pound uh, backpack into the hotel and got a room. $62 for the night. I have 160 bucks. I gambled $3. $117. I gambled 4 last night. Got nothing. I had a Long Island iced tea and bought a pack of cigarettes. I ate some um, vending machine food today. I ate a burrito and got a phone charger. That I bet I just went back in the $17. $7 for the burrito. $10 for the phone charger. They were nice enough here at Wheat's Pisky Pete's Whiskey. I would like to thank the people at Pete's Whiskey for giving me my room until 4 p.m. It is now 1. This is the first time I've slept in a bed in probably three months. Other than when me and Twitch have had our sleepovers. Yeah. So I want to thank the people at Pete's Whiskey for their love and consideration. I would like the Pete's people at Good Pie, where that pawn shop is located, for being so kind to me. And giving me a piece of pizza, letting someone pay by credit card over phone for me to have a slice of pizza. I would like to thank the people at the Bellagio, the guest services, and I would also like to thank 
um, the concierge for his diligent hard work, even calling a limo service to get me taxi prices at limo, a limo at taxi prices to get me home. That was over the top beyond belief. I thank you. And thank you. Um, the manager or whoever she was over at the Bellagio for finding me resources, not just throwing me on the streets and telling me if you come back you get a trespassing charge, but letting me stay at the Bellagio without a room from 1 a.m. until 1, 4 p.m. the next day. Or, I'm sorry, 1, 1 p.m. the next day. That was 12 hours. You made no money off of me, man. Thank you so much for looking into those resources and getting me help. Even though I did not utilize those resources, I want to thank the people at the Bellagio. They are beyond belief over the top. Whiskey Pete's beyond belief over the top. Don't ever underestimate the quality of someone who cares when you're devastated. They might seem all right when you're okay, but when you're where I was and these people went that extra mile, that extra four hours in this hotel room, that extra couple hours and some phone numbers and borrowing their phone. These things are amazing. These people are awesome, and I appreciate their customer service. Lord help me if I ever have enough money. I'm leaving fat tips for you guys next time. I know people say that and they never leave tips, but for real, you guys saved me, and thank you for being a part of Stormy's Gypsy Life. I can't be more grateful. Now, the next endeavor. I'm hitchhiking from Prim to Riverside. We'll see how that goes and who I get stuck with. But don't have, don't be scared for me. Because you know what? So far what Stormy has learned is when your engine blows in a blizzard and someone is driving behind you right then pulls over. It just so happens to be a very nice woman. Melly, thank you, girl. That ride was awesome. You were chill as fuck. And thank you for letting me drive us the last half to the Bellagio. I didn't get any sleep until last night since then. But I tell you what, girl. That ride, I didn't mind being your chauffeur, honey. Thank you. This is gypsy life, man. You gotta be careful. I'm lucky I haven't gotten raped from fucking that guy. I'm lucky I even got money out of that motherfucker. You know, this is not safe. Don't try this shit at home. I've got an angel with me, Miss Margaret's freaking good luck charm. Cameron's good luck charm. And, you know, I've got freaking Pat Curry from Ramona's good luck charm. I've got a lot of good luck charms on me. Everyone has given me a blessing to carry with me on this journey. Don't you ever try this. This is dangerous, and I could have been killed and hurt more than once. Okay, I could have froze to death in that blizzard in Utah. I'm surviving and doing what I got to do to get back to my family back home in Ramona. And I don't want anyone to ever try doing what I'm doing because it's not safe. You should have fucking weapons on you. You should have resources and homies and people along the way. This is not easy and this is not safe. And I know people have done worse and more dangerous, but I'm telling you, just what I'm doing isn't safe. I never want to see my babies doing this shit. None of my girls, I'll beat the shit out of any of you three girls you ever tried this shit. Don't you ever do this. Mama will find a way to freaking take care of you. Don't you ever, ever, ever go, ever go through this. Not necessary.